next is hex to binary okay we need to know about hex to binary and octal to binary and the reverse that is binary to hex and binary to octal so first if we take hex to binary uh, suppose hex number is say a14 to the base 16 this we need to convert to binary so we know that hex is uh, has 16 numbers from 0 to 15 and also we know that the largest number that can be represented using hex is 15 okay and 15 means uh, in the case of hex it is f so 15 numbers means 15 means uh, 0 to 15 means that is 16 numbers that is why the base of hex is 16 and 16 is 2 raised to 4 that is uh, if suppose you have two bit numbers two bit numbers okay suppose the numbers are uh, say x1 and x2 two bits x1 is a bit x2 is a bit so you can write it as 0 0 0 1 1 0 1 1 so max <clears throat> this is 0 1 2 so the maximum number that can be represented using two bits is three and the number of numbers you can represent using two bits is four right this is zero one two three one two three four four numbers are there from zero to three so if n is the number of bits n is the number of bits in this case 2 using n number of bits you can represent 2 raised to n numbers 2 raised to n different combinations of n bits right that is four combinations four combinations here and the largest number you can represent using n bits is that is if you start from 0 to how much 2 raised to n minus 1 4 minus 1 that is 3 so in this case 2 raised to n numbers means 4 and here it is 2 to sorry 0 to 3 likewise in hex the if we are taking the reverse that is in hex you can represent 16 numbers 16 can be taken as 2 raised to 4 that is 2 raised to n so what is n n is 4 right so n is 4 so you need n bits to represent a hexadecimal number in binary okay so in order to convert hex to binary how many number of bits do you need you need n number of bits so any hexadecimal number can be represented in binary using n number of bits n number of bits is 4 why 4 because hex contains 16 numbers 0 to 15 so hex when you hear take 4 bits clear so 
here you have A14. A1 and 4. So just represent each of these digits in 4 bits in binary. So what is A? A is 10. And what is 10? 10 is 1010. 8, 4, 2, 1. 8 and 2. And what is 1? 1 you can represent as a single 1. But in hex, if you are representing hex in binary, then you have to write 4 bits. So, 0, 0, 0, 1. 4 can be represented in 3 bits in binary. But when you are representing hex in binary, you must represent it using 4 bits. So, it is 0, 1, 0, 0. You can append any number of zeros to the left. The value does not change. 4 zeros, 5 zeros, 10 zeros, you append to the left. No change will come. For a single number, not here, when you are taking the whole number. So, this is your binary equivalent of A14. In this particular case, don't write zeros in between. But if you are taking just 4, just 4, then you can put any number of zeros to the left. In this particular case, you can't write because 4 is a digit of the number. So, this is how you write hex in binary, convert hex in hex to binary. Right? So, if you have a decimal, uh, sorry, a uh, fraction part, just put the uh, dot there and write similarly. That is, if it is uh, A14 point, say, 2, 3, then just put point here, 2 in 4 bits and 3 in 4 bits. Okay, so hex to binary is very simple. Similarly, you can convert octal to binary. So, like in the case of hex, hex the largest number you can represent in hex is 15. That is, you have 16 numbers, 0 to 15. Likewise, in the case of octal, you have 8 numbers that is 0 to 7 and 8 is equal to 2 raised to 3. So, n is 3. So, just like in the case of hex to binary, here octal to binary will represent but with 3 bits. Right? So,